Top level motorsport and Formula One is really interesting, but getting normal people to build and race their own vehicles is just as entertaining. So let's break down some of the best runs in Red Bull soapbox racing. <laughs> it's got a fair bit of camber on the front right there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'd get on the radio to my engineers. Uh, the geometry on this one doesn't look quite right with that speed wobble. <laughs> the guy in the back's using it like a, like a sidecar. Moving his weight around. It's a big rig, that one. Bigger than you normally see. Oh, up over the jump. <laughs> it looks pretty unstable, this one. Jesus. Look at the roller coaster on the left. Celebrating to the crowd. Still loads of speed wobble. Up the berm and oh my god. <laughs> and the tire. Did you see the passenger come over the top? <laughs> I paused it at a perfect moment there, just before the massive impact. Let's go, <laughs> go slowly, straight into the back of the driver. A bit of a flip. What happened? She just didn't, just didn't turn. <laughs> wet conditions on the ground here. Skinny tires, why do they always use such skinny tires? This driver looks like he's... <laughs> What a drift. It looks like he's got good car control, actually. Obviously, oh, look at that. This is perfect. What a run. Thousand foot mark. I don't know how it's going to survive over any bumps or jumps, but this driver definitely, definitely got the, uh, the best skill that we've seen so far. The bonnet's coming up off it there. Alignment looks a little bit out. Bonnet's gone, gone off completely. Look at it drift. This is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so these actually, they have to have brake. Oh no! Oh, that was a huge jump, massive air. I don't think it was actually, the issue wasn't um, the initial landing. It seemed to jump and then bounce back up again. Look at the concentration on their faces. Oh no, it did, it was nose heavy. Oh goodness. <laughs> now the guy in the back, is a bit heavier than the guy at the front. And if we just rewind, look at that. <laughs> How do they? This is the moment where he must have been thinking, this has not gone very well. Oh, hands on the tarmac as well. And then before getting crushed by his mate. <laughs> I don't know if they wear body armor. Actually, you can see this guy's back. He's not wearing any body armor. Absolute <laughs> crazy guys. <laughs> Oh, here we can see, this is like one of those Formula One spy pictures, you know, when they crash the F1 cars and you can see underneath and see all of the, uh, the intricate bits. Here we can see the chassis of the soapbox, a uh, bit of one by one box steel here. All their secrets are now uh, out in the open. They just inherently look dangerous, don't they? It's quite a wide wheelbase on the back, that might help them. Uh, and they've, you know, look, their, um, their sidecar. Riders, look, you can see they've got the leathers on. Why has he got tomato ketchup and mustard? Oh, there we go, he's doing it. There we go. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> he's winded. He's on the floor and he's winded. Oh, I need to watch a replay of that. It just didn't have the grip. Oh, look, look at the... <laughs> so they weren't just sliding off. They were sliding off. It was braking at the same time and then the wheel buckled. Turning it in, I mean, they were running wide anyway. They must have known that they were running out of, uh, they were running out of road on the way out. But look at the angle of that outside wheel. It stood right up. And this goes to show you the forces. You also see this with tires flexing in race cars. Before they go off, I think, look at the wheel bent. <laughs> it snaps off there. Oh, just before and, uh, yeah, has a massive shunt. That's horrible. <laughs> I haven't even got into this one. I mean, what, what's the point? Like, I'm sure it must take them weeks of preparation and design to do this. Why would they design it with, with such weakness involved when they know that they've got to fall off a 30 or 40 centimeter ramp? Like, <laughs> does it make any sense? Look at this, so slow motion, they've gone through the water splash, drops down, as soon as it drops down, <laughs> the rigidity of those hubs just isn't, isn't enough. <laughs> oh, and then he's eaten the floor, oh my goodness. That's horrendous. This is more dangerous than actually racing cars. Oh, this one's got suspension, a little bit 
a little bit high on this COG here. Center of gravity is a bit high. It'd be good over the bumps, but the geez, it needs some dampers on it. This suspect. Oh! <laughs> a little bit too much roll, and they're going to be fired out the front. Oh, God on! God on! How do, how do they let this still happen? <laughs> the suspension works, so I just got no dampers on it. Oh, this is the point when they knew it was all going wrong. Can't correct it. Oh, and then it's a good head in the barrier. Okay, so we've got a VW van. No suspension. That's a rough ride. It's quick though, isn't it? Look at that. Looks a little bit edgy to drive. <laughs> <But, laughs> There's a tank slapper. Oh, oh, the, the wheels come off. It's still going. So stiff, like a Formula One car, you can drive it with three wheels, like Lewis at Silverstone. That's it, it's powering on. Just only turn right. Oh. <laughs> the commitment is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. <laughs> oh man, I bet he's good to have a beer with that guy. Some of the lines here, uh, a bit dodgy. I think some of these guys could do with coming to do one of, it, one of our programs. Oh, bit of speed going on here. I don't know what it's trying to be. Tubular space frame chassis, strong though. Oh, although, no, it just broke. It broke a steering arm or something coming down there. It's the jumps, isn't it? So I, if I was doing one of these, I'd have to beef everything up, put some suspension on there and some dampers, unlike that other uh, soapbox that we saw. Oh, they're going down backwards. Oh my goodness, this looks... <laughs> It's getting, oh no! Oh, I thought he was gonna get crushed by his own car then. Again, bicycle wheels. Don't know where the brakes are on this one. I can't see any brakes. Maybe they're in the, oh no, I can on the, the rear right. Oh, shh. Yeah, it looks like a twitchy one to drive. It's like uh, that Ferrari from a couple of years ago. Look at all that camber. <laughs> it's gonna break a wheel. No. Still strong. Aerodynamic, this coffin as well. Although his hat isn't. Was surprisingly strong. How is it so strong? Oh, now he's. Oh, God. They really take some hits, don't they? Oh, and then he shunts. Goes. Oh, God. He really ate, ate the tarmac there. Goodness. Probably the most unstable thing that we've seen so far. I don't know what it's. Is it a hot air balloon? Not sure. Have they found a loophole in the rules? This is the, the quality of a Formula One team, finding the loopholes in the rules. These, these guys are. Top notch engineers. Oh, it's bending it. Again, it's got not, hasn't got enough caster on the front or something. Why is that front wheel? <laughs> Only just got right. <laughs> At least the, um, you know, when a Formula One car crashes, you're always talking about dissipating the energy as much as you can so that you, you want the accident to be longer so that the energy um, gets spent over time. It's perfect with um, a big bubble. Oh my God, the speed, Jesus, wept. Hope it's okay, that was. <laughs> oh, let's watch that back in slow motion because it's probably the best picture of all of it, this bloke. <laughs> He's got massive speed and he loses it. Loses it before the jump. I don't know why he loses it there. It's just come out of a chicane or something. The rear, look at the rear coat. Maybe he get, gets on the brakes and it turns it. Gets it over the jump, but then just loses it with the, the high center of gravity, or reasonably high center of gravity. But look at that. That doesn't look good. I know we can't see him, but you can see him just there. <laughs> Smashes his face into the tarmac. Another crazy form of motorsport is Group B rallying. Check out the video where I react to this insane rallying here. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next video.